This is the FM transmitter. The version is uh, 3 of 3, the last one that I put up on YouTube. And I wanted to do some more experimenting. This time, modify this circuit. And instead of using a junction transistor, use a power MOSFET transistor. And here I have it on the workbench. And you can see the power supply on the left there. There's 11 9 volt batteries plugged together. And the transmitter is on that board sort of in the center. And you can also see the old wiring diagram that I'm using. And it works rather well. Here's a quick demo. I've been experimenting with a MOSFET transistor right here in my FM transmitter. And I've got uh, the audio hooked up right here. And the audio source is running. So let's turn on the FM radio. We'll hook power up to the transmitter. I went to for my bankroll with an empty feeling. After checking through my pockets, I went out on the highway and started back to town. I was still unlimbering my thumb when a long, low roadster pulled up beside me. It sounds really good, and I uh, took the little radio outside. This one right here, and uh, could pick the signal up down the driveway and out at my mailbox, and I'm sure I could have gone farther. And all that without an antenna on this transmitter. Here's a much closer look at that board. And you can see that there's not a whole lot to the transmitter. Something that is important in building this is to make the leads of the tank circuit as short as possible. And you can see the coil on the top and I wound that around a double-A battery. Everybody should be able to get one of those to make that coil. And on the other side of this is the variable capacitor and that is connected of course to the tank circuit. Doing it this way ensures that those leads of the tank circuit are as short as possible. And I got that variable capacitor from a junker transistor radio. This is the new wiring diagram and you can see I've got a power MOSFET transistor in the diagram. It's an end channel and some more changes are on the left. You can see a 5K resistor and it's 10 watts and it does get warm. And also I'm using 99 volts, which is 11 9 volt batteries. And as I said in the video, I did walk outside with the transistor radio and went all the way down to my mailbox and had no problems receiving the signal and that was without an antenna on the transmitter. Another experiment I wanted to do, I wanted to see if this thing would still work at 18 volts and it does and here's the demo on it. 
Of course, when I changed the voltage, I had to retune the transmitter. Okay, I've got just two batteries here now. I was waiting for it when you started waving around the artillery. Still You're works. Telling me her name's Olivia Reynolds. Look, drive up that alley before you get lost. But of course, not as much power, but it still works even on 18 volts. So this version of my FM transmitter will work with a wide range of voltages. I wouldn't really go over 100 volts with this transmitter and if you think that you need an antenna that would be right here in the wiring diagram and I would add a capacitor in between the tank circuit and the antenna and I'd use you now I'd try a 200 picofarad capacitor that would probably be a good choice. Thanks for watching.